The Malaysian Armed Forces, ATM, has showcased its various assets at the 66th Independence Day Parade, which took place at Dataran Putrajaya yesterday, was witnessed by about 100,000 people present. Among the assets displayed at the parade yesterday is a series of missiles used by fighter aircraft belonging to the Royal Malaysian Air Force, RMAF. One of the weapon systems exhibited at the country's Independence Day parade yesterday was the KH-29T, which is an air-to-ground missile used by the Suhoi Su-30 MKM fighter jet. For Western countries and NATO, the KH-29 missile is known as the AS-14 Kedge, and it is said to be a competitor to the AGM-65 Maverick missile. Developed by a U.S. defense firm, the KH-29 air-to-surface missile was developed by the Molnia Design Bureau at the beginning of the design, and also the Vimpel Design Bureau at the end of the design. Overall, Russian missiles used by Su-30 MKM fighters. Belonging to the RMAF has a length of 3.87 meters and a weight of 680 kg. For defense analysts, one interesting feature of the KH-29 air-to-surface missile is the explosive it carries weighing 317 kilograms, which is said to be large enough and high-powered to accurately destroy large ground targets. With 317 kilograms of explosives, the KH-29 air-to-ground missile is likely to target large targets such as bridges and hardened fortifications. Air-to-ground missiles were first developed in the 1970s and was commissioned in the 1980s, when Russia was still known as the Soviet Union, to replace the KH-23 US-7 carry missile. There are two variants of the missile KH-29, KH-29T, as displayed by the RMAF yesterday which is an air-to-ground missile, which uses TV guidance while the KH-29L is a variant that uses semi-active laser guidance. Although it is said that it can only be used during the day, the KH-29T missile variant that uses TV guidance, tube minus two, has higher accuracy than the variant that uses semi-active laser guidance. For the KH-29T that uses TV guidance, the circular error probability of the missile is 3 meters while the SEP of the KH-29L semi-active laser variant is between 5 and 7 meters. SEP is used by many as a measure of weapon system accuracy. The KH-29T missile uses TV guidance, it can be launched from a height of 5 kilometers and can accurately hit targets located between 10 kilometers and 12 kilometers away. While for the KH-29L air-to-ground missile variant, which uses a semi-active laser, the firing range is between 8 and 12 kilometers depending on the laser pointer. At this point, the Russian Air Force and countries that use Su-27, Su-30 fighter aircraft, and also the Su-34 using the KH-29 missile, either the T or L variant, to bomb land targets that are high-value, valuable targets, accurately. The Russian Air Force also uses KH-29 missiles in the current conflict with Ukraine.